Just one drop can be the difference between health and sickness, life and death. Contamination is a physical and social threat to communities, an affront to human dignity. The East London IDZ Science and Technology Park is designed to enhance the competitive and comparative advantages of the Eastern Cape as a preferred industrial and investment destination. In 2013, it partnered with the CSIR to bring the accuracy and quality of its services to the region. The CSIR provides various industries with a range of specialist analytical laboratory services critical for quality control purposes and ensuring industry compliance to regulatory requirements. The CSIR Consulting and Analytical Services Laboratory is the first of its kind in the province, staffed by experts specializing in chemical and microbiological analysis. Located within the Science and Technology Park, this state-of-the-art high-tech laboratory will serve as an ideal testing hub for the Eastern Cape. The laboratory will be fully accredited by the South African National Accreditation System, aligned to the ISO 17025 standard. By providing access to a body of CSIR labs throughout South Africa, the laboratory will offer invaluable partnerships, knowledge sharing and skills transfer. With state-of-the-art technology and testing methods and continuous monitoring available on site, the laboratory gives municipalities the opportunity for testing, referrals, training and practical assistance in maintaining and improving their blue drop and green drop ratings. Phase 1 focuses on analyses for drinking water, groundwater and wastewater. A sample entering the lab is assigned a unique job number by the Laboratory Information Management System, LIMS which will be emailed to the client. The system enables secure tracking of the sample throughout the testing or analytical process. Staff collect samples according to set standards and sampling plans. Sample integrity is ensured through keeping sample collection to bench times short. Microbiological testing is required within six hours of collection. Sample analyses conducted during Phase 1 will include environmental and microbiological analysis of drinking water, sediments, soil, wastewater and effluent samples conducted in compliance with the relevant regulations and specifications. In Phase 1, chemical analysis will test for pH, chemical oxygen demand, total alkalinity, electrical conductivity and ammonia and microbiological analysis will test for heterotrophic plate count, total coliforms, fecal coliforms and E. coli. At the end of the analysis, each sample is issued with a certificate. Being a fully independent laboratory allows us to provide our clients with unbiased high-precision analytical data, securely and confidentially. After successful Phase 1 accreditation, Phase 2 will move into increased environmental, chemical and microbiological testing, as well as food, beverage and swab microbiological testing. Finally, Phase 3 will progress to nutritional testing. The laboratory will also be able to support any analysis that is currently being offered by existing CSIR laboratories, including the Food and Beverage Laboratory, which tests food samples for nutritional analysis, as well as the Air and Dust Laboratory, which supports the analysis required for the mining sector. All methods used and measurements performed in this laboratory will be aligned to international standards and will strive for accreditation. The CSIR Consulting and Analytical Laboratory is excited to offer our clients a professionally managed, diversified, world-class laboratory service and partnership. 
Let us help you ensure correct sampling and verified results and assist in maintaining your blue and green drops scorecard. Take advantage of our continuous monitoring, training programs and state-of-the-art facilities. Tap into our wide-branching CSIR network of advanced research facilities. We look forward to assisting you in playing your part in the economic and social upliftment of this beautiful province so that more people far and wide can enjoy all the richness and depth it has to offer. This is not a drop in the ocean. It's quality, it's trade, it's jobs, it's skills. It's a new channel for a cleaner, healthier, happier tomorrow. And it's here in the Eastern Cape.